Hello, it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest, and today I'm jumping into a fantastic new piece of property software that I found out whilst down at Norwich Pin. Um, Gilliam has been going around explaining all about Property Filter, and I thought today would be a great chance to jump into the software and see what kind of deals we can really easily find on your own doorstep. It's very different to jumping into property data, as you can really filter through all different types of data to whittle down to find just that one opportunity that you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Property Filter now, um, jump in, I'm going to log in, um, and then all I'll do is I'll show you how we set up some of the search areas, how you can jump in and then whittle down to find opportunities you want, save those into your pipeline and get working through them. At the end of it all, I have got you a link which is going to get you quite a few different bonuses to get you going as membership and access is not available all the time. So this is going to be one, if not the only way to be uh, getting and sign up to Property Filter. Otherwise, you're simply going to be on seminars, Zoom calls, waiting in places to try and get access. I know access has been capped off for this month. So if you just sign up there or jump in, have a go at the free trial, you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, show you how it works, and hopefully get you finding deals just as easily as I found one today. So here we go. We head over to the Property Filter website. Um, and there'll be a little video that gives you an intro that um, Gilliam and I did the other week. We're running through it. If you want to have a chat and a look through there to see how it all works. The main thing is you're going to head in here and just log in. So once the property is logged in, you're going to see you have a dashboard or a sourcing pipeline. The first thing you need to do is click in and set up a lead generator. And the idea is here is you've got a little kind of server working in the background for you, trying to find you opportunities. So what you can do here is you want to set up postcodes in the area to be able to get searching and have it all set up ready for you to go. So what you can do is you can search um, the area that you're in. Um, so for example, I've gone with NR1 and then we then put in a radius. So all the postcodes that come with that radius will appear. I don't want NR14, it's not an area I invest in. I don't want NR99, wherever that might be. And then what I also wanna do is I know NR2, NR3, NR4, NR5, NR6 is a good little location. So I'm just gonna add that in. And that just adds the top of the city. And then what I might want to do is um, if we can then add in NR13, which just so happens to be, it's a massive area that sits on the outside of the city. And that is a great little search area for us to have. So I'm going to just click Save, Next. And the next thing you want to do is work out a strategy or something that you're looking to buy and work on. Um, so you can go with no template or you can start or add them up or build your own template if you want to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with one bed to two beds. We're going to go with one bed to two bed. And then I'm just going to click next. And I'm going to call this Norwich dash one to two bed. Two bed. Okay, we're going to do that. And then the other thing we can do as well is we can do add another lead generator on here and we can do the same thing again. Ah, what I can do instead, you can either you can start it every time or if you click this, you can click duplicate. So it's got that my whole kind of search area in it. And then what we we'll then do is go next, but this time we can change the strategy. So instead, we can turn and say we only want to find stuff where it might be, say, a um, up for sale and for rent at the same time. Um, and then we can say what type of property we want. Uh, and we've got, I don't want new build, don't want um, retirement, care home or listed building. So I'm just going with the other. Am I happy to see auctions? We'll go yes. And then we're then just going to click next. I'm going to call this Norwich lease option agreements. And we've got two of those. And then we can create another one. So what other kind of strategies should we go for? Um, I've done that wrong. So let's go with, again, on this, we'll just click it and we'll click duplicate. Um, and again, we go to the next stage, that's the area that we wanted. Um, and then what we're going to do this time instead is we're going to say uh, we want to go price, max bed, max bedrooms, we want, and you can then open up advanced filters as well. So let's just say we want properties for sale. We can then add specific filters. So we can say for how many bathrooms we want, how big we want a property to be. And we can set all these other areas up. I'm going to discard that. And what I'm going to do is I'll delete my old one because I've duplicated one to two beds. So if we click a new one, we go NR, and I'm just going to set up a couple of these so then we can then go from there. So there we go. I've set up three different kind of filters to be able to find a few different options and opportunities in the area. So 
one of the interesting options, I know a few people who like looking for property opportunities like the idea of a lease option. Um, and with the market the way it is at the moment, it could be an interesting strategy to look at. So once you've set up your leads generator, you can jump in and you can find properties that are back on the market. They've been reduced. And this is where, when it's back on the market. So that's where a sale has been agreed and it's, and it's now been reduced as well. So, for example, this property here is actually a property I've been around and seen. So hold off. Don't go get it. Let me have it. Um, but it's an interesting property because it is actually on the market, you can see here, for sale and um, listed on the market for rent room by room. So it could be quite a good opportunity for a lease option to, say, for example, rent the property out first and then agree to purchase the property a few years down the line. So here we've got it on for a million, down at 900, down at 750, and then it's gone along there. And you can see it says it's a large boutique um, property, uh, Airbnb or b and so what we can do here, we can do two things or a few things. I'm going to save, save to my pipeline. So this means now I can then push it through. I've already done a viewing. So um, viewing complete. And then you can then say, that's fine. So I made myself a note, which means it's moved along. The next thing you can do here, we can have to see any information or any actions that I want to do. So an action could be, for example, it could be follow up, follow up with, estate agent there we go and then that's giving us an idea of what we want to do or next checkup in three days so that's giving a little of action of what we want to do later and that's a property that we're potentially interested in but we can go back to our properties list here we've got another one here which is um ran ranworth road five six bedroom property three hundred twenty five thousand pounds decent sized property two thousand nine hundred pound a square foot which is actually quite reasonable in norwich anyway so you can jump in here, see where it is. And here, this is the reason why it's not renting out and it's not selling, it's in North Earlham. It's not an area that I like. So I'll simply click, never show me that property again. So we'll never find that property in our list again. And here you can see, look, we've got a two bedroom flat in Allison Bank Road. It's up for rent for 1500 pounds, which is quite a lot of money for that kind of size flat. Um, and that as well. So I'm gonna say, uh, never show me that again. You can then have a look and see other properties that are back on the market or available to rent. And um, we've got one here, nice six bed. Rents out quite a lot of money there. So if that's quite a lot of money, that's probably not going to necessarily work for me. Um, you can then, so what I'll do on that one is I'm going to say never show again. Um, again, you can see here, these ones are all actually fairly expensive. And over the market, this one here, you can see it's sold, um, but it might be, but it's only been sold for 17 days. So it might not be worthwhile chatting them. But here you've got another one uh, that is 1600 a month, four bedrooms. We can see we've already got the size of the property there is 80, 82 meters squared. That's quite an expensive property, but it might again be worthwhile having a look at it and thinking, you know what? We might be able to give these guys a call. It's on the market for rent and for sale with the same agent. Whether or not they might agree to, for you to buy it and then go and do some works and it, hold it for a little while and then come back again. And West Erlen for Norwich is a great location. You can see that it's been on for just over a month or so. And they haven't really wanted to move it forward. And you can see the last sold price as well. It's gone up by 134% is what they're asking for it. And previously being used for other things. So I'm going to say wait till next change because that means if the price drops, it's probably worthwhile getting back to them. You can see anything else that's been reduced. And again, they're on the market with both of them. Or we can just go through again, just through stuff where it's simply available. So that's quite cool there, looking into that. Then we've got short leases. So this is where property filters is a little bit different to say property data um, because it actually goes out and it works out which um, the actual lease length of the property. So if we just click on available here um, and let's just have a look. Sort by, we can sort by pretty much anything here. Lowest equity, highest equity, lowest price per surface area. Let's turn around and have a go with that one. And then we can see here, look, this one on the bottom, that looks like it's going to be deal of the century. So you can take a look at that. Show in, I've just saved that to my pipeline reaction. Um, but you can then see, you know, see and sort by price. So say, for example, we've got this property here. We're going to say, show the property. It's on for £185,000 for a two-bedroom flat. Then you can see that all there. And that information, it said when the lease started. It starts, it, so it's only got 52 years left on it. Let's see what they're saying about the property. Ground rent is 30 is £100. And there we go. So... And they've actually already extended the lease term on here or going to be extending the lease. And that's why they're obviously advertising at kind of market value 
rather than a bit of a discounted price. But you can see here, it's actually a really decent sized property and it comes with a garage as well. So that could be quite a nice little opportunity for someone. So in that one, um, personally, it's not a property or an area that I typically buy, but what I would do is just turn around and say, save that for later, and we can have a look at it if we wanted to another time. And um, we've got other properties coming up here, 4,000 pounds a square meter, not my kind of kettle of fish, but you can really see how it just quickly finds properties or interesting properties that you can invest in straight away. And then again, here we go, we can jump in and we've got properties we can turn it from one bedroom to two bedrooms. And this is quite good because you can then increase the value of a property quite significantly without doing too much work. So the reason we haven't had any results come up here for the first one is where a property where you can turn it from one bed to a two bed, there aren't any that have come back to market where a property have sold or fallen out of bed. But you do have a couple here where they've been reduced. So here, for example, we've got a uh, 140C Waterloo Road. It's a nice size 76 metre flat, which is quite decent size there. So, and you can see here, look, that's got really nice size living room, bedroom, and that would be perfect, 74 square metres they've even got written on there. And they're asking 120,000 pounds. And then this is, let's have a quick look with the photos. Doesn't look too bad. It's obviously a commercial, it's been converted at some point in the past. It could be a nice little opportunity. So what I'll do again is, uh, I'll just click, we'll save that one to the pipeline. So then you can go in and have a look. You can see they haven't not too long ago reduced the price on it as well, 22nd of March, so that was only five days ago. Freehold, 10 year freehold rough, single and flat, short lease. So you might also be getting a share of freehold on this property as well. So that could be a really good little opportunity there. And then again, we've got, as you come through, you can see we've got uh, other properties that have been reduced. So we've got this Benjamin Gooch Way. That looks like, again, it's got to be a decent sized place. Here you go, ground floor and the first floor. Nice size, probably 71 square meters. Let's have a look through the photos. So you can see here what they've done is where they've drawn it. They've got the mezzanine balcony, which could be quite nice. But it does mean that you couldn't really split this one into two properties, unfortunately. So because of that, I will just turn and say, never show me that one again. I don't want to see it. And then we go back to the list. And then here you go. You can see I've, where I've been saving them. I've been working through them. Some of them have slowly been being removed. Um, and here I'm going to have a guess and say this might actually be, somehow it hasn't managed to pick up that this one's actually listed twice. So I don't want to see that one ever again. If we go back to this, here we go. We've got another, we've got a little one here, £75,000 for a one bedroom property just a Sung Tank Road. This needs a lot of work by the looks of things. You can see the actual EPC rating, what it is at the moment. And when it was last done, that's 2010. This isn't ready to rent. Um, it's a property that's being sold by an online auction um, through Brown and Co. And it's actually just going to auction in the next couple of days. But we can then turn around and have a look through. Decent sized property. Maybe you could convert the kitchen, kitchen, living room, and then have a separate one in there. You can see it needs a lot of work. Um, and this one's actually saying, I'm not quite sure how, but it's saying this is flat to, ah, um, and it's just at 43 square meters. So this might not be one actually to leave for this time. So what I'm going to do is just click never show again. But you can see quickly how we've just managed to work through and find a few little opportunities. So these are all saved into our pipeline of what we'd like to do with something next. So say for example, with um, this property here, I want to move it along. What I can do is turn around and say, okay, add an action, organize a viewing, call, call up the estate unit. And then we're gonna turn around and say the viewing date if we've called them up. And then we're gonna say when we next wanna to talk to them and get that all sorted. And again here, then if we want to look at any of the others, we can do the same process and then work through them. So that's just a little idea of how you can jump in, get using the system to start finding yourself some really neat and little bit little deals inside of the platform there. You can see even just by kind of working around, moving inside there for what the last 10 minutes or so, how we can quickly find opportunities that are sitting there right in front of us. And also um, how to look at a property that's on the market uh, that I hadn't necessarily noticed before. So. Um, hopefully you found this useful. If you would like to jump on and have a, get a using property filter, 
As I mentioned, there's a 14 day free trial to filter that you can get into. I've got an exclusive link, which I'm going to put in just below um, this YouTube video. So you can jump on in there, have a look at it, try it out, subscribe and go from there. Hope you like this video. If you've got any questions, drop them in there below and we can go from there. Cheers. Bye.